Hi, in this video I want to demonstrate how you can use serverless functions directly in the GraphQL console to send out welcome emails to newly registered customers. Therefore, I've created this welcome project here and created this new type that is called customer and the customer has a name and an email field that we'll be using to send out the welcome email. We therefore have to select the functions tab in the side menu and this is the space in our GraphQL console where we can manage all our serverless functions. So let's go ahead and cr create a new function by clicking on the new function button up here. We now have the choice between two different function types. For this video, we are going to use the server-side subscription. Server-side subscriptions work in a similar way as subscriptions on the front end. That is, you would have to specify the data that you're interested in, and then whenever data, um, whenever that data changes in the database, you will get notified with the subscription payload that you specify. So in our scenario, we are interested in new customers being created, so we have to select the customer type right here. The next step now is to actually write the code for our function, and in our case, we want to use the Mailgun API to send an email to the newly registered customer. Let's first go ahead and specify a name for our function. And now we can deal with the actual implementation. So down here we've got the code editor where we can specify what exactly should happen when the subscription is fired. On the left side we've got the subscription and this subscription looks very much or identical to a subscription that we would write on the client. So here we already have a predefined filter and here we can specify what kind of mutations we're interested in and in our case that's only the created mutation so we, so we can remove, create, uh, update it and delete it from the array. This node here is going to represent the newly created customer so let's go ahead and add the name and the email of the customer to the payload. So this now means that every time a new customer is being created this function on the right here is going to be called and this event is going to carry the payload that we are specifying here. And if you want to see what this event might look like, you can click the example event button right here. And here it shows you that it has the data object and in there the customer field and then the node with the fields that we specify. So in addition to the ID field, this is also going to carry the name and the email because that's what we specified right here in the subscription payload. Before we go and implement the actual functionality of our function, let's go ahead and do a test run to see the logging print uh, statements that we're specifying right here and how they are printed to the console. If I click on test run, we'll be presented with a different pop-up. And on the left side of that pop-up, we can specify what the event object that is being passed into our function should look like. So this follows the same structure of our subscription in that we first have the data object, then the customer that we're subscribing to, and the node fields of which we can specify the fields we're interested in. So we also added the name and the email to the subscription payload. So if we wanted to simulate that right here, we could add these as well. On the right side, we'll be presented with information about that particular function execution. So right now the function has been executed once and here is all the information that we get from that particular function execution. And most importantly, here in the logs, we see every console log statement that we had in the function body. We can run the function a second time and then the next information about this execution is also presented. We can now move on with the actual implementation of our function. So let's first go ahead and add a couple of dependencies to our function. So we're requiring a fetch function from the, from the, uh, from the isomorphic fetch module, then a base64 function that we're using for base64 encoding, which is required for the Mailgun API, and then this form data object that's also required for the Mailgun API. And by the way, you can use NPM modules in the inline functions that you're defining in the console. However, you're restricted to using only those functions that are actually listed on this website. So here you can ask for a specific NPM package and then 
you will have the information as to whether you can actually use it in the context of the function that you're writing in the GraphQL console. Next, I'm going to paste in my personal Mailgun data, so the API key as well as the URL that we're going to contact when sending the request to the Mailgun API. And now we can go ahead and retrieve the information about the new customer from the event object right here. So we follow the structure of the subscription on the left side. So inside the data object, we have the customer. In there, we've got the node. And then we can retrieve the name. And th we do the same for the email of the new customer. And now we can use this data to actually contact the Mailgun API. And now as a next step, we have to prepare the form data for our request. And that looks as follows. So we can specify the from field, the to field that we're going to populate with the data that we're retrieving from the new customer object, a subject for the email, and then the text for the email. And finally, the last bit is to actually send the request and that we're doing using the fetch function that we're importing on top. That looks as, fo uh, that looks as follows. We're calling fetch with the URL. We're passing in our API key, base64 encoded, and then the form that we are creating right here. We can now test our implementation. So let's go ahead and do another test run. Before we are sending the, um, before we're executing the function though, we have to adjust the example input here on the left. So we have to add the email and the name field to the customer payload because otherwise we don't have any email address that we could uh, use when um, using the Melgan API. So now I've added this data and I click on run. And now I'm switching over to my email client right here and hopefully we'll see the email come in right now. All right, so this worked. We received a new email address through the Mailgun API. We can now test our implementation. So let's do another test run. Before we execute the function though, we have to add more data to the subscription payload here to the sample input. So we are adding the email and the name of the customer that is supposed to be created or that is simulated right here. And then we click run. So the function is executed. I'm switching over to my email client and we see that a new email with the specified text and subject and to field is coming in. And the same effect you'll see when you are sending a mutation either in a playground or through any kind of front end application. So now whenever a new customer is created in your database, then this function is going to be executed and the customer is going to receive an email with the text that we specified. And this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about serverless functions with GraphQL. And if you have any questions, check out our documentation or join our growing community on Slack.